Seek him that made the Pleiades and Orion, that turneth deep darkness into the morning, and darkeneth the day into night, that calleth for the waters of the sea, and poureth them out upon the face of the earth. The Lord is his name. Open thou our lips. And our mouth shall show all thy praise. O God, make speed to save us.
A reading from the book of Lamentations. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul that seeks him. It is good that one should wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. For the Lord will not reject forever. Although he causes grief, he will have compassion according to the abundance of his steadfast love. For he does not willingly afflict or grieve anyone. Here ends the reading.
A reading from the Gospel according to John. Jesus said to them, Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and anyone who comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up on the last day. This is indeed the will of my Father, that all who see the Son and believe in him may have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. Here ends the reading.
believe in God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. Show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy service, O Lord, save the commonwealth. And do thy ministers with righteousness. time, O Lord. Because there is no God that fighteth for us, but only God, O God. O God, may clean our hearts within us. And us, O Lord, we pray thee, to trust in thee with all our heart, seeing that as thou dost always resist the proud, who confide in their own strength, so thou dost not forsake those who make their boast of thy mercy. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Into your hands, O merciful Savior, we commend your servant, Susan. Acknowledge, we humbly beseech you, a sheep of your own fold, 
a lamb of your own fold, a sinner of your own redeeming. And receive her into the arms of your mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of the saints in light. Amen. O oh, oh, oh God, who dost manifest in thy servants the signs of thy presence, send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another thine abounding grace may increase among us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord.
Please be seated. We don't usually make announcements or talk very much outside of the things that are written in our, our liturgy tonight, but tonight is a very special night. Um, it's my first time as the new dean um, with the men and boys choir in place. Um, and I don't know if you have this in your, in your, in your pews. Boys, do you have like a red book in there? Could, could one of you, what does it say on, the, on this binder there? The Book of Common Prayer. That's right. And in common is a word that we sometimes use to mean like low or doesn't matter or ordinary or everyday, right? Like um, he was a common criminal or, you know, that's the way we use it a lot. But when, when you read common prayer on there, what it means is it means the prayers that we share in common. It's not just me praying by myself and you praying by yourself or you praying by yourself. It's the prayers that we all share in common. And some of us are praying today very joyful prayers. I mean, one of the joyful prayers is thanks be to God for this beautiful choir. I, I even wonder how many of you, for, how many of you is this your first day at, at, at um, singing today? I'm the only one? Yeah. <laughs> So that's great. I mean, I, I'm so grateful to hear you, and it's just, it's such a magical and holy thing for me um, to be able to be blessed by the gift that you have to offer. Um, there's not many things you can do when you're a kid to make the lives of adults so much better. This is one of those things. The other thing that we're here for is Susan Hendrickson, and to remember her life and to give thanks for her. Um, so there's kind of a tragic part. Some of us are very sad in our hearts about missing her and um, losing her. And some of us are very happy in our hearts because we're beginning a whole new year together. But I'm, I'm very grateful and I wanted to have this chance to thank you all for singing tonight and for your ongoing work for the cathedral. There's another person who died too, um, a friend of mine whose name is Brian Barnes. And he died over the weekend um, and he died in his sleep. And we're remembering him also um, and, and praying for him. And I'm sure there are many other things that we're praying for tonight too. Um, Mark Andrus's wife, Sheila, her mother's in the hospital with bad heart attacks. So I know that some people are here praying for them too. Um, but whatever we're praying for, I'm grateful to be here with all of you. Let us pray. O oh God of grace and glory, we remember before you this day our sister Susan. We thank you for giving her to us, her family and friends, to know and to love as a companion on our earthly pilgrimage. In your boundless compassion, console us who mourn. Give us faith to see in death the gate of eternal life so that in quiet confidence we may continue our course on earth until by your call we are reunited with those who have gone before. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. On the 10th anniversary of his death, we remember longtime congregant and former trustee, Dr. Hobart Banks. Almighty God, with whom still live the spirits of those who die in the Lord, and with whom the souls of the faithful are in joy and felicity, we give you heartfelt thanks for the good examples of all your servants, who having finished their course in faith now find rest and refreshment. May we, with all who have died in the true faith of your holy name, have perfect fulfillment and bliss in your eternal and everlasting glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And this week we also learned of the death of the venerable Brian Barnes, longtime archdeacon for deacons in this diocese. Almighty God, we remember before you today your faithful servants. And we pray that having opened to them the gates of larger life, you will receive them more and more into your joyful service, that with all who have faithfully served you in the past, they may share in the eternal victory of Jesus Christ our Lord. 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you.